through the Next Step initiative, I have tour managed and become a workshop coordinator and facilitator and produced and directed a, a brand new work and, oh, so many, so, <laughs> so many different things. I, I began as an actor and um, under the Next Step program through Year Yark and I've been able to, to work up towards different things. Um, I started doing workshop facilitating um, on tours that we were doing. I was also doing acting, but I was able to do a higher role in, in the tours and become a workshop facilitator and run things and stuff like that with a lot of high schools up in the Pilbara region. The Next Step program facilitated me to be able to write my first ever play, which is Colour Cutagen, which was uh, part of the Awesome Festival. And that was pretty incredible. But also, uh, we've had programs like Culture 2.0 where we've travelled around to different regional schools. We've uh, uh, workshopped through a form of forum theatre uh, ways to find responses that really helped inspire our writing. I've learned so much from that. Uh, it's been incredible. It's really helped me grow as a writer as well. So I learned some techniques, uh, filled up my toolbox of writing. Uh, Next Step supported me through my plays, um, one that I co-wrote which was Black as Michael Jackson and um, Fifty Shades of Black which was Black as Michael Jackson and further developed with more of my own writing. More recently I've been able to do a bit of assistant directing with the play King Hit um, which is a very different experience from, from, from being an actor. It's been very interesting. So I came from a, a directing kind of background the, the program's really given me the push to pursue that but also pursue it in the sense of um, I, I now believe thanks to the Next Step program that I can produce, direct and tour my own shows. They supported me as a writer and uh, also you know to be independent um, through my own um, film company that I started with Delaray Morrison and Monica Main. Um, so yeah, without Yuri Arkin's support um, and the Next Step program, that play, those plays would never have happened. The most special memory I have is those workshops that we did for the Culture 2.0 project and, and without the Next Step program I, I don't think I would have been able to facilitate those programs. The gallery was a, a huge highlight of, of things I've done because with we were about uh, 60 performers, 60 to 80 performers and an 800 strong audience. I, I never thought I'd be able to manage a, an event that big and um, that wonderful. I was producer and director of Year of Yarns last year and that, that was a learning curve definitely but I was fully supported by Year of Yarkin and so th this year having to, well not having to but choosing to produce and direct my own show without huge support from other people was an undertaking and a half I think yeah um, I've really enjoyed the process and I, I felt prepared for it I felt I was ready for it and it seems to have gone pretty well so <laughs> we mostly sold out at Fringe World for um, Fifty Shades of Black and I was blessed to win um, WA Emerging Artist so that was really good to put on my resume through Fringe World somebody had come and seen the show from Broome and we got a season in Broome, so we got to tour the show up there, that was amazing. Um, and also there was people that had come and seen it in Broome that got us to take it up to some remote communities in um, December last year. So that was one of the most amazing experiences of my life, doing it out in remote communities with no theatre, no lighting, all that sort of stuff. And we took um, Fifty Shades of Black to Melbourne as well. So. Uh, you know, from that initial support, we managed to tour the show to quite a few places. Uh, probably one of the best experiences I've had in my life so far was the first time that I saw Carly Cudgeon on stage, even when it was in the rehearsal period, because that was something that, though the dreaming story was obviously a dreaming story, it was from the Noongar people, but writing it on paper in the way that I had it set out and then seeing it performed on stage where you see these characters, you see these lines, you see the music, it's just brought to life. It's, a, it's an experience that you can't really imagine. It, it, it's like it validates the insaneness inside your mind. Just changing the way these, these students, these high school kids um, look at each other and, and the way they talk to each other. I, I can see from the moment we started these workshops, a lot of them were, were really apart from each other. but 
as we did the three-day workshops, um, just seeing the change in their behaviour and, and, and we did a performance at the end and uh, some of those small little performances that we created with these students were, were really heartfelt and really, really spoke out to their, their peers and a lot of their peers watching what was happening, how they created these small little performances that we got them to do at the end of the workshops um, was quite amazing and I felt, I felt like I've, I've changed the minds of a couple of those students and mostly all of them I hope so it, 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 it's kind of a good feeling and a good sense to know that you've, you've, you've kind of changed the life of a couple, couple teenagers and the way they're going to become adults. And I'm definitely uh, enthusiastic about writing now. I think I'm a lot more confident with my stories and what I've got to tell. Um, and I'm actually working on another play at the moment that um, I've started writing. So, uh, yeah, it's set the ball in motion for me, I think, as a playwright, which I even feel weird saying that. <laughs> I feel, especially when it comes to Aboriginal theatre, Aboriginal just everything we do, we're storytellers, we're natural storytellers and we've all got a story to tell. If it's up there, being able to write is expressing that story into the wide open space and I think for me, one of the best parts of my life is being able to take something that I've imagined in my head and to just bring it out into physical existence and to have other people see that and if they appreciate it, it's incredible. If they don't, that's okay, but it's as long as they still learn from it or they still experience something it's that kind of journey I like taking people on journeys because it it's like you got society and then if you add a little bit of dreaming into that then it doesn't become so mundane and that's why I love writing I'd, I'd love to one day direct my own show and become a director um, and I hope that um, through through more process through the next step program I'm able to do that one day I just want to be respected as someone in the industry that you know, tells stories that need to be told and brings stories, you know, to life that not just entertain but make a difference. I want to pursue producing um, and, of course, I want to pursue directing because it's where I've always wanted to go. But I would love, I would really, my dream is to make it into other countries and other Indigenous communities around the world and see what they're doing with their arts and, um, and how we can learn from each other. Yuri Yarkin is kind of like a parent to me. They're supporting me and they're helping me grow as an artist um, in so many ways. For someone like me, um, and, and there's so many of us, we have so many different stories, and to give me that confidence boost to go, hey, you can be a writer and we're going to support you and we believe in you, uh, that's, that's just something that, you know, can't be bought. And... I think time will tell just how much that that support is going to um, show people out there because I don't intend to stop working and developing my craft and I feel like I have all the support in the world so I really thank Yuri Arkin from the bottom of my heart for that.